I really need to buy some cold end. I do not feel well. A Facebook ad for cold end? That's creepy. By the way, cold end isn't a real product, but just go with it. You've probably heard the conspiracy theory. Facebook is listening to your microphone to better target ads at you. But that's just not true. Facebook does not use your phone's microphone to inform ads or to change what you see in newsfeed, Facebook told me. Other experts, including former Facebook employees, said there are technical, not to mention legal reasons it isn't true. So why does it feel like Facebook and its advertisers are in the same room as you? Because they've gotten so good at tracking you online and even offline that it feels like they're listening. Plain old tissues or fancy lotion tissues? Both, I guess. So how do advertisers know about this situation? Well, if you use a loyalty card at a physical store, your purchase history could be used to target ads to you on Facebook. How do the contents of what's in this bag make its way back to Facebook? A third-party data collector gathers that purchase data from stores. Then typically, a brand, say cold end, buys that information and uses Facebook tools to match up offline data with Facebook accounts. And then that ad shows up in your newsfeed. Yes, Facebook and advertisers are actually following your footsteps. The Facebook app in your pocket and many others gather your location using various methods. IP addresses, Wi-Fi networks around you, and most likely your direct permission to use your phone's location. So say this made-up cold medicine company decided to market to people in areas where the flu or winter colds have hit the hardest. Location tracking has gotten so advanced that marketers could also target me because I'm just a few blocks away from their store or product. According to this medical website, I've been blowing my nose the wrong way. Facebook has a product called Pixel, and it basically does exactly what this guy's doing. It's installed on hundreds of thousands of websites and apps, so advertisers and Facebook can track your web and app activity. Facebook uses that info and all the other things it knows about you from your Facebook use to then pick your ads. Facebook says we build our targeting tools in a way that doesn't share people's personal information with advertisers, and that gives people control over the ads they see. I suggest you start by going into Facebook settings, account settings, ads, and turn off interest-based ads. On the iPhone, you can also go into settings, privacy, advertising, and then select limit ad tracking. I suggest you make some time to follow the tips so you can create at least some distance between you and this guy.